So we're going to be picking up equipment with helicopters and then we'll be placing our boats and equipment into the water, connecting them together and building rafts, and then we'll be bringing them back to the shoreline. Think of what we do as building roads across rivers and that's, that's what we're, we're uh, doing today but with helicopters involved. We are currently placing our bays down in the airfield where they'll begin rigging the bays with the sling sets. Once aviation arrives, we'll begin our sling road operations. A hookup crew will be standing on top of the bridge base and the Chinooks will hover over top while they hook up. Once the bridge bays are hooked up and the hookup crews are clear, the aviation will take off of the bridge bays carrying them to the drop zone. They will place them in the water, release the slings. Once the rotor wash is cleared, a boat will then approach the bay, push it out of the drop zone because the next chopper is already coming in. We will remove the sling legs from the top of the bridge bay. We'll pop it open and we will build a raft. It comes folded up and that's how we transport them. It unfolds like a, like a W. From the big loaf of bread to a flat bridge piece with a roadway on it. This is definitely one of the most complicated operations that we do. It has the most moving parts. It requires a third of our element to be at an airfield doing the hookup operations, another third transporting between the retrieval site at the water and the airfield here, and then another element out on the water ready to retrieve the bays and put them together. If we were to ever deploy to Indo-Pacific and or Eastern Europe, uh, there's a lot of rivers, a lot of waterways. We have to be prepared to mobilize, to uh, engage with those issues, and to also be able to get our warfighters to the fight. And that's a lot of what our, our company provides, is that, that ability to transport heavy things across waterways.